What's up guys, Broken Back Gamer here. Today I'm going to be showing you a little behind the scenes in the lab robot repair. You can try this out for yourself, it's pretty cool. All you have to do is make sure you stand all the way back in one portion of your play area and then teleport to the very opposite end on your screen and then when you move forward in real life you can actually move past the barriers which is pretty neat there's some pretty cool areas in here that you might not otherwise be able to look at because everything happens so quickly and then it disappears so doing this will enable you to check things out a little bit before they actually disappear so hope you guys enjoy the video Charge your multi-tools at the charging station. Charge your multi-tools at the charging station. Good. Now press the button on the multi-tool. Good. Your multi-tools have been fully irradiated. Please remove your radiation suit at this time. No suit detected. Good. There is a cabinet of drawers in your repair station. Please locate it and open a drawer. Locate and open a drawer. Please keep pulling. Please keep pulling. Good. Now close the drawer. Locate and open the correct drawer. Please keep pulling. Good. You have now practiced on two incorrect drawers. Please open the correct drawer. Please keep pulling. Please keep pulling. Please keep pulling. Good. As explained in your orientation, you should of course never look directly into the drawer. Room sensors indicate you are currently looking directly into the drawer. You have just interfered with an Aperture Science Pocket Universe test. You are now their god. Close the drawer to initiate contaminated pocket universe contingency protocol. Good. Contaminated pocket universe incinerate. Opening drawers has been removed from your list of responsibilities. Please locate the service bay door lever and pull it. Pulling the lever has been added to your list of responsibilities. Please pull the lever. Now after you've done everything you need to do, you've charged your little remote and then you've pulled out the drawers, you are, you're going to have to walk over to this door and pull down on the lever. Well, when that happens, just pull the lever just a tiny bit and then after that release it and then you can walk through these doors and this is what you see. Please locate and pull the lever.
Please locate and pull the lever. Please locate and pull the lever. Please locate and pull the lever. Now serving. One. schematic hologram. All Aperture brand robots can be repaired by anyone with even a rudimentary understanding of advanced electromechanical engineering. To begin repairing this unit, attach your multi-tool to its faceplate and pull as forcefully as you may hear what sounds to a human like mechanical scream. But rest assured, while robots feel good, please look in and press the button marked Robot Repair. Step 2. Locate half-inch bore number 35 pitch bracket for amp flow motor D and disengage it from the appropriate linear actuator unless its electrostatic ion reactor is uncoupled from anodized voltage axis servo bracket 733E and only if oxidization valves A, C, F, and H1 but not H3 are asymmetric in turbo pump exhaust manifold case filled up. Please take your time. Up to 30 seconds, at which point the thermal reactor currently uncoupled from its heat exchange unit will detonate. Alert plaques and deploy. Again, take your time. 15 seconds. 15 second plaques is deployed. Increase heart rate detected. Ocean sounds relaxation plaques deployed. Responsibilities have been removed from your list of responsibilities. Core meltdown in supervisor has been alerted. I don't believe it. What kind of robot can't handle the simplest? Oh, it's you. Congratulations on your quota filling promotion, by the way. You've opened all our eyes to what humans can achieve when you put your tiny little minds to it. Repair station recycling initiated. For your own safety, please vacate this station immediately. Don't listen to him, you'll be fine. Also, let's be honest, your first day's been a bit of a disaster. It's probably not the worst thing if you die. Repair station recycling in progress. I want you to know, at first I was against this human diversity outreach program. But now, watching you flail around like a sweaty pile of ham, I see I was wrong. It's hilarious. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Honestly, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I like little details like this, and I wanted to share it with everybody out there, so Thank you for your everybody else could enjoy it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.